What's up guys, I'm Garamoth and welcome to the week 8 wrap up for the Dead Air Invitational Blood Bowl 2 League. As per usual, this video will contain spoilers as we'll be going over the results of week 8 and be looking forward into the schedule for week 9. So, uh, if you don't want to avoid, or rather if you want to avoid spoilers, there are links on the screen right now for the matches that were played this week. You can go check those out before checking out the rest of this video. Thanks a lot guys, for those of you who are sticking around, here come the spoilers. Okay, here we go, week 8. So, pretty interesting week. Um, I think a lot of the games didn't go how people expected them to. Uh, so the lineup we had was Ballswell Trailed, which is of course Dan or some kind of Wizards Chaos team, against Alcoholic Gameplay and Orcs, which is of course the team of Orcs by Titans Creed. That ended up going 1-1. One, one. Uh, I think most people expected a victory for Pete, but Dan managed to pull off some stuff. Yeah, that... It was an interesting game overall, to be honest. Some weird shit happens. <laughs> but yeah, 1-1, one, one. so that ended up being a draw. The second game of the week, which is the Toad Scales, aka Greg's Lizardman, or Noxmas's Lizardman, against Sir Robin's Braves, which is of course Uniform 764's Bretonians, ended up being a 1-0 victory to the Bretonians. That was unexpected. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. <laughs> no insult meant to uh, Madden at all, but I think most people were expecting like a 2-1 to uh, Noximus or Greg, but yeah, that was a that was a good game. Really interesting one. Highly recommend people go check that out if you haven't. And then the last game of the week was the Dragon Tamers, aka Ronith's um, Ronith's Chaos team against my Folklore and Fairies, aka the Wood Elf team. That ended up being a two-one victory to Ronith. Uh, he played well. I <laughs> uh, I'm not happy with my play in that game at all. Don't don't begrudge Ronith for it at all. But I. I did not play that game well, personally. I felt I played really sloppy. I felt... <sighs> I got frustrated with myself, mostly. But yeah, Ryan played well. He deserved the win. So yeah, that is the... Um... That is the scores for Week 8. Pretty good games. I recommend people go and watch all of them, to be honest. Alright, guys. Sorry about that. Um, it's going to be a bit of a shorter wrap-up this week. Uh, I didn't manage to get uh, footage for the teams in the state they were at the start of week... Uh, or end of week 8, start of week 9. So, I I don't... I, if I Basically, if I show the teams now, it's going to include spoilers for week, for week 9. Because some teams have already played at this point. So, that's my bad. Uh, I do still have the wrap-up with the coaches, though. So... We shall go and get them and talk about the schedule for next week. Again, sorry there's no individual look at the teams, but if it makes you guys feel better, not... There weren't any major ones this week. I think, like, maybe, like, one or two people acquired, like, the odd extra skill. Like, I think there's an extra skink with Jump Up on Greg's team, and, like, maybe, like, a Chaos Warrior with Block. Like, there's nothing super interesting or exciting, and you guys will see what'll happen in the games, so, yeah. Sorry about that, that's entirely my bad. But I'll go and get the uh we'll get the rest of the coaches and we will do the wrap up for next week's schedule. Be right back. One last thing before I get the coaches. I uh, sorry this wrap up's been a bit sloppy, but uh I've been a little bit pressured for time. But yeah, I forgot to go over the overall standings. Thank uh now we've had the week eight wins and losses and match results in general. So let's quickly go over those. In first place we have Ronith Star with the Dragon Tamers. Yep. Six wins, one draw, one loss, sitting at a mighty 19 points. Second place goes to me, Goromoth, with the Folklore and Fairies Wood Elf team, with five wins, zero draws, and three losses. Uh, that's sitting at 15 points. Uh, sitting in third place, we have Titan's Creed, aka Pete, with the Alcoholic Game Playing Orcs, sitting at uh, three wins, three draws, and two losses, and 12 points. Fourth place goes to Noximus of the Tilted Scaled Lizardman. He's sitting at three wins, one draw, four losses, and ten points overall. Fifth place goes to Uniform 764 with the Sir Robin Braves Bretonians. They're sitting at three wins, zero draws, and five losses, and they're set at nine points. Finally, in sixth place, unfortunately, we have some kind of wizard, aka the Chaos Ballswell Travel Team, sitting at one win, one draw, and six losses. And that totals out to four points. Uh, it does mean that I... 
Yeah, it does unfortunately mean that uh, at this point, Dan is out of the running for the playoffs. He can't make top four. It's not possible. Even if he wins both the next week and the week after, that puts him at a maximum of 10 points. And yeah, people already have... like. Uh, that puts him drawn with Greg, and then Greg comes ahead out on the tiebreakers. So yeah, it's it's not possible for Dan to make fifth. Uh, sorry, it's not possible for Dan to make fourth place, unfortunately. However, Madden, aka Uniform Seven Six Four, is still totally in it and could actually take the fourth place in the playoffs. So everything is still to play for. Only one person is eliminated, unfortunately, but he'll still be playing the rest of his games and trying to have some fun. And you can still play Kingmaker. So everything is still to play for for the rest of the teams and. Uh, yeah. Uh, now I'll go get the rest of the coaches and we'll talk about the schedule for the next coming week. And I'm back with some of the coaches. We have uh, Titans Creed, we have Runner Style, and we have Noximus. How's it going, guys? Aloha! Excellently. So, yeah, we're looking at the week uh, nine? Yeah, nine. Yes. God, uh, doing well, maths. The wrap, the wrap up for week eight. We've yeah, but we're looking. Yes. yes, but we're looking into week nine of the. Um, the schedule for week nine and uh, seeing yeah. exactly what's going to be happening. So, of course, three matches as per usual. We have Balls Will Travel, which is, of course, some kind of Wizards Chaos team against Folklore and Fairies, which is by Wood Elves. Uh, second match of the week is Sir Robin's Braves, which is, of course, Uniform 764's uh, Bretonians against the Dragon Tamers, which is the Chaos team coached by Ronith. And then the third match of the week will be the Alcoholic Gameplay and Orcs coached by Titans Creed against the Tilted Scaled Lizardmen coached by Noximus. At this point, more tilting scales. Yeah, okay. tilting scale. <laughs> I guess no, the no, tilted scale still works because they're tilted. Yeah, they are tilted. I, I am no longer tilting. I have fully tilted. Yeah, you're tilted at this point. Yeah, you're right. So yeah, um, uh, let's start off with the first match of the week. We've got Dan versus me. I'm going to have a look at his. Uh, so what's going to happen is you're going to win like four o. I hope so. Unless it's going like to what win. fucking. I need, to, I need to. I need to not massively tilt like I did last match. Yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying to see what his injuries are. It won't let me actually mouse over them. Then um, niggles. So, so he's got, he's dude, got bro, dude, dude, bro is out next game. Dude, bro is out. So that's one of his uh, stuff. The rest, out. the rest are just yeah. Two niggles, niggles and a minor strength. So yeah. he's actually one of his. I think it's his carrier. No, it's his foul appearance guy. Yeah, I broke last appearance. week. Yeah. So, carrier is uh, drunk as ever. That's not yeah, too bad. That's what less guy that you have Captain, to. Captain is party man out or is he niggling? Uh, he's uh, niggling. niggling. The only the only uh, one that misses a uh, game is Dude Bro. Dude yeah. Bro, okay. But, and uh, you had three dead elves. Yeah, I had three dead elves. So. so so you're gonna I'm down I'm down to I'm down a player, so I'll have a journeyman and so I've replaced a lineman with a catcher. So you're gonna get so you're only going to get two journeymen. I'm getting one journeyman. One journeyman. So main... you're you're basically giving him two hundred and forty k in inducements. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, um, he doesn't really have any abilities to deal with uh, dodgy guys <laughs> at all. No, he, doesn't. Like, he doesn't have strip ball. He doesn't have any tackles. He doesn't have. Uh, my team is in, my team's faster now as well because my yeah. catcher I have a second catcher and catchers are faster than line elves anyway. But my first catcher who leveled up took plus one movement. I'll be honest, um, Dan. I don't think after last week Dan's going to buy a star player again unless he feels for the lols. Um, if I was in his position, I'd take a wizard for that just that shot to knock you possibly knock you down yeah. and possibly take an extra reroll. I don't know how many he has. So Three, like, two. No, he's still on two. I, th I think he's still uh, on yeah, two. Yeah, I, I take I take a reroll and put the extra ten k in and get a wizard. Yeah, and Jusman wise, I would probably what two hundred. If we reckon it's two hundred twenty k, two hundred ten k. Uh, two hundred forty because you'll get an extra thirty k from a journeyman. He can't get a reroll in a wizard then because a wizard's one fifty and a reroll's yeah, hundred. Yeah, he's he's got like sixty k, uh, like eighty k of. Oh, I guess yeah, he cuts an extra money. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, enough. reroll on a wizard is okay. That's what I, I would know. do. I'll be honest if. Because he's, he's a, probably just a, a he's merc, in that position where he's just going to go out and just fuck people over now. A merc might help him, like a merc chaos warrior. Maybe. Um, uh, he can only have four. Yeah, so he's not going to be able to get another one. Like, yeah, he has the maximum amount of chaos warriors. 
You could fire one and buy a Merc. He could. <laughs> the three strength guy. Probably. Like, I, I would not say that that's a bad choice, actually. I mean, the, the, this, much is, this match is going to be tr tricky for me. It, it depends how I deal with it. Ronan's team is really hard to deal with, and I know Dan's team isn't as leveled, but it's like... It's still Chaos. It's still Chaos, four, which I'm, re chaos I'm just really struggling to play against Chaos. You both, neither of you got any level ups this week, so... I did. Uh, like, no, oh, did you actually, I said you didn't start. get any level ups this week. I got know. a level. I literally just said I got a level up on a catcher and gave him plus one movement. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty pretty dangerous. Yeah, like, he's, li so he's literally squares. he's literally a gutter runner. Yeah, yeah, he is. It's he's well. a gut. He's a gut. No, he is. he's a gutter runner with sprint. Like, it's pretty insane. So he could literally make half. Well, I would say he could, but we all know what you're like rolling on going. I for can't us. do go for it. They're impossible. <laughs> They're actually impossible. They are you the definitely hardest. need a reroll thing. On that. You can go eleven spaces potentially. Yeah, he's, he's a lot of spaces. He's, he's literally he, he, that catcher no, is literally a gutter runner with catch and um, sprint. So basically, oh, he's, right, yeah, you're going to give him sure feet, aren't you? Let's let's face it here. If I don't think he'll level up before the end of the season. I don't know. He only has to make uh, two touchdowns and a, and a pass. Uh, maybe I guess. I uh, know it's tough to say. You'd have to prioritize him over your. Well, he's likely to do it because he has dodge and he's fast. So and he's. Uh... I think. Yeah, I think you're you're gonna probably walk away the winner of this. I would and... hope so. I really would hope so because mm. if I lose if I lose this, then my second half of the season has been very poor. I'll be honest. <laughs> Predictions. Uh, I reckon like. Don't get penisy, kid. We know how that works out. Yeah. I reckon yeah, like a two. I reckon like a two, two nil, two one to me. I would say so. I would agree with that. I'd I'd say two one sounds about right because I don't think Dan's not in a position to not score. It really depends how it depends how well my war dancers do. Um, yeah. I, I he he doesn't really have a lot to deal with them though, and yeah. Jack is real scary, so I don't know. Yeah, strong I, I think that you can probably do a two, uh, two or three scores. I'd hope so. With, with the amount of speed you have. Yeah, speed is the key part. So, yeah. All, 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 the only way Dan's going to be able to do it is to get the ball and hold on to it somehow. That's the only way he can stop you but scoring. But even then, like, both of the war dancers have strip ball. Like, sure, the only get that, like, he does have a guy that has extra arms and sure hands, but that guy still isn't really yeah, that the short, safe. The sure hands is going to stop strip ball. Yeah, but he, he's not still not safe. Like, there are still, like, a, an elf with guard. He has a, a four strength war dancer and multiple, and another war dancer. Like, I, I don't think, I don't think he's going to. I understand, yeah, I understand what you're saying. But I'm saying, if he, range, if, he, if, he, if he can get the ball on Drunkest Ever and stall out. That's going to be Dan's best chance to stop Definitely. Like, really fast drives. That's that's his only utility, really. Like, yeah. Re the, re the rest of his team just has to block, and one guy with foul appearance, which isn't even... In He's not in the game, no. So I, his team really lacks a utility, and that's probably going to be, be his downfall. Yeah, absolutely. That's a reasonable con conclusion, I think. So, game two... Um, so actually, one last thing to say about this game is, unfortunately, um, Dan has no way of making anything higher than fifth place anymore. He could make fifth place; it is possible, but he can't make playoffs. It's it is it's impossible with two. He'd need to win twice to even have a chance, and even then, what? You no, he literally can't. It, it, there's not even a chance because even if Dan wins twice, and gr so if Dan wins twice, the only person he can knock out of playoffs is Greg. And Greg has beaten Dan twice, which means Greg wins the tiebreaker. Right. There's, there's no way for Dan to make playoffs at all anymore, unfortunately. Yep. But he can still decide the fate of other people, so... <laughs> he can yep. still king make real hard. Yeah, what I want is for him to beat Madden. Uh, because I feel like... Uh... I'd, I'd like Dan to break uh, the war dancers real hard. That would be nice, yeah. It would be the only way it. I've got a chance against Josh in the following week. I apologize, Josh, but that's the only reason I'm rooting for that. That's, I know, that's I it. Against that. um, so, second match of the week is the Bretonians versus the Chaos. I just want to start by saying straight away that um, that, that this is just... This is Ronis' games to lose, without a shadow of a doubt. 
Don't right. get penisy, kid. Um, it's not. It's not about being penisy. It's about the fact that Ryanath has been playing the consistently best out of everyone else, and it's. No, reflect- I wouldn't say that at all. I'd say uh, Ronald's had the better dice. No, I mean, no, 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 no. He's had really no, no. Let me no. He's had really good luck, which he he himself will not doubt, like disagree with. He's had really nice dice, but at the same time, like of the people. It's not just the dice. Ronith has played the most consistently out of everyone, and that's why he's winning. It's, it's is, that not... why, is that why I'm the only one that's beaten him, then, is it? <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Like, it means, uh, means everything to me! That's probably because, uh, like, orcs might just, like, expose it. Yeah, you have, you have a really... You, you have, like, a really good... Like, like, it's a good matchup, Chaos versus Orcs. I, I think it is, and, like, it, it is very difficult to be up against orcs. Like that just might just be my playstyle that has a weakness against orcs. So, or and uh, like you're you're playing reasonably consistent, like you're as well. Yeah. So I, 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 I don't see like I do want to say that Madden did play a good game last week. Like did it did take a lot of pokey and prodding from the rest of us though for him to not yolo real hard. Yeah, which is annoying. I wish you'd just fucking let him do it. <laughs> <Asshole>. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, you Greg, just... I, w- I wanted a good game. Well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, I, like, at, at no point will I ever uh, say that, like, that this is a guaranteed victory, because I don't think it is. You don't I, have I'm a still, like, his, 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 because uh, his linemen are still super annoying, um, and his blitzers really? are still r- really good at just dealing with my Chaos Warriors. Yeah, you don't have his blitzers. It's you don't... The fucking mercenary blitzers. He's high as you want to look at. Yeah, like, I understand that he's <laughs> a huge disadvantage, and I'm probably going to win, but I'm not going to say that my no, victory don't go... is cemented. I th- I think it's it's highly likely you win it though. I think it's gonna probably, be a two. Yeah. It's gonna be I think it's gonna be like a two one uh, to you. He, I think probably. the only the only way like he's gonna get close to fifty. Um, what he might get a hundred thousand in petty cash. I mean, we've had this discussion before in the actual matches about how much petty cash versus actual players makes a difference, but... He's going to have a lot of... Uh... He'll, just, he'll just have mercs again. He's got his guys back, but at the same time, he might still just fire them because they're injured. Yeah. So he might just go full mercenaries again, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. Um... Maybe a star player or two there if he really wants to... Yeah, can, I'm pretty sure Protonius can hire a uh, Sidewinder, who's actually pretty damn good because he has fucking Petrifying Gaze or whatever it's called. What is that? Eld- Eldrin Sidewinder. He's an elf star That's... player. I'm like 99% sure Protonians can hire him. He's really good. He has Let's the, have a look. He has the what... What's it called? He has the fucking vampire ability that lets him dominate people, but like they just can't do anything. It's a transfix uh, I can... or something. I can only find star players based on the tabletop rules. Yeah. So, so you won't be uh, they've, they've, yeah, they've got a Bretonian. Ye- I mean, if it's the same as this, it's a Bretonian yeoman called Jules Arno, Arnaud, Arnaud, or Jean Jean Baptiste Dufer, which is a Bretonian blitzer. And I can check one thing. I'm pretty sure Bretonians can hire Eldrin. No, they can't. Did you check the show? Yeah. Only good. Teams. I'm checking as well. I th- he can get Griff. Oh, it's no, it's Longstride. It's the other elf, Dolphar Longstride. Oh, Dolphar Longstride. Yeah, he can be hired by Bretonians. Yeah, so the elf kicker, which has he's seven movement, three strength, four IT, seven armor value, loner, diving catch, hail mary pass, kick, kick off return, and pass block. So kick is a strong thing. Or he'll, this, or there's Willow Rosebark, which is the dryad. Uh, Five. Could- they can hire Griff as well. Griff is actually really solid. Griff is a strong player. Gr- yeah. Griff Overworld is actually really solid. He's got so many good. He's agile and strength four, and he just has. He's got fend. He's got block. He's got dodge. He's got sprint. He's like real strong. At 150k, and if he's going to get five, like close to 500, probably closer to four because he's going to get two. You can uh, uh, Bretonians uh, can get Zerg as well. Zerg's okay. He's strength. Five with mighty blow yeah. and block. He's quite straightforward. I have a feeling we're going to see some star players coming out. I would hope so. Uh, he can get Morgan Thog. <laughs> not a big fan of Morgan Thog personally, but Morgan he's... Thog's not that good. No, and I only say that because I played the campaign and he wasn't that good there. 
That's it. So yeah. those are the ones. Anything else on this match? Uh, I'd say it's going to be down to what he buys, but I think you, as Josh has said, I think you've still got the chance, but I just don't think we should count Mad now, especially after Definitely. how we played last week. Based, based on, like I said, the first matchup, Dan's out of this, but da Madden is absolutely not. Madden can still make playoffs. It's yeah. entirely Madden, possible. Madden, Madden has to win this game and the following game, and whichever one out of myself and Greg loses this week actually. has he, to lose the following game. He only game. needs to win one game. As long as Greg keeps losing, you will yeah. like... Because yeah. uh, Greg's on 10 points, Madden's on 9, so... Yeah. The, so it sort of depends on what everyone, how everyone else is doing. If, if he wins one of the two games and I draw two, how do we decide that? Because he's won, uh, uh, won and lost. It's a goal difference. It'll be goal, di it'll be goal difference. that if we get there. No, it's just team value then, goal difference. So Madden... Yeah, team value. Uh, okay, uh, cool. I, th I think, it, I think it has, the, the actual game itself works out on game difference. It works goal on team difference. value. No, it works on team value. Uh... I only disagree because there's been things where I've been higher on team value in the entire season and lower than other people. I'm pretty sure. Well, either, I'm, I'm pretty sure it uses team value. Team value is one of the deciding factors. I know that for a fact. So the like number of touchdowns you make. You're yeah, made. that's the it's the goal difference basically. It's touchdowns you've made versus touchdowns that you've conceded. So if you look at the yeah. hand spreadsheet that we have access to. Yeah. Either way. I'd be up on him. Yeah, so, if he wins one of his two and I draw both, I'm fine. Yeah. I don't think you're going to draw both. You might draw one because you only played against me once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm against Ronif in the other game, so... Ronif won't let you draw. Also draw that. Ronif won't let you draw. Ronif will either win or destroy you. We'll see. <laughs> so, last match of the week is, of course, the game these guys are already shit-talking each other about. It's the Orcs versus the Lizardmen. Oh, uh, yeah! I think it's going to be the game of the week because it's the closest. I, I, yeah, I, I'm excited. I disagree. I disagree. Dan's, Dan's in, Dan's in my game, so that'll be the game of the week. Yeah, probably. But I mean, this one, this one is like the, the, these two guys been at each other and they drew last time. So I just, I just want one of you guys to like get well, the win and let it be decided. I, th I'm, I'm, he get Greg's gonna get 170 in pay cash. Which is nice. So that could be a combination of anything. Well, that's that's Rural or Blood Wiser or a Wizard. Wizard, yeah. Or a Merc. Or a yeah, star player dependent. I don't how think much you can afford. I don't think you can it afford any. How much money he pulls? I don't know how much he is. There's the there's Hemlock, who is the um, the Lizardman star player skink. Skink, yeah. I don't know. Never. Did you get any level ups this week, Greg? Nope. Didn't get shit. Didn't get shit. Whereas I got three. <laughs> I definitely get the. Well, what, what happened last time you guys played each other? Uh, it, was it was a draw. draw. It was a draw, draw which is why I'm excited for this. I think I think Pete can take it. It's possible. I think I can take it. I think I'm going to proceed this, to not trust Doug again. This what is, happened last week was <laughs> I trusted Doug. This is where Gin and Tonic the Hedgehog really comes into play with tackle. Yep. Mm. Yeah. yeah, the the tackle's gonna be real good. Uh, the still a, like a real big problem with the Soros is that half of your Soros still don't have yeah lock. So I mean that's because I removed gonna, one of them. But other than that, like I, Soros still has a <laughs> decent chance to yeah. make it. It's uh, just that Orcs has really high armor value, so you know, they're very sticky. My thrower is now even more better than the lineman. What do you get? Uh, what you movement get? allowance, so he can uh, move yeah. six instead of five. Ooh, so fast. He's Zoom. as fast as Blitzer now. You watch your mouth. So fast. That's one oh extra God, yeah, square. That's, that's, that's actually one. really good. The best, the, see, the best one is the fact you went jump up on the Blackhawk. I love that. I legitimately <laughs> love that. It's so good. It it means it means he like it's a three. Uh, it's actually a three plus on Blackhawks. It means that if his Blackhawk gets knocked over and followed up on, the Blackhawk just has to make a three plus check to stand up and punch him. I'm gonna need to actually concentrate on that sort of thing because like, <sighs> yeah. jump up is a really good thing on Blackhawk. I it still is. 
maybe would have I would have probably gone for block though because that's just I was debating it but the fact I rolled doubles gave me access to the extra skills and I yeah. think it would have been a mistake not picking it oh right. oh you had to roll doubles all right yeah yeah then it's I an totally edgy, yeah it's an edgy skill man then I totally agree with the jump oh yeah I, ro I rolled doubles on the black hawk I rolled doubles on the blitzer and I rolled an 11 on the throw that's why I, it's why really I have skills this week. It's why I have a line off with guard without her uh, dodge or block because guard is a double skill. So I was like, well, I gotta, you know, gotta uh, take alien... advantage of rolling those doubles. Yeah. So alien inebriation is relatively square. He he is a blodge blitzer. Nice. So guys, what we need to watch out for. I've just checked. Doug is free SPP away. So if I can score a touchdown with Doug, he'll level up again. So you you I've don't want to, you don't want to trust Doug and yet you trust Doug to dig it. I'm I'm not trusting him to do that <laughs> at all. I didn't say that. I just, just said if just, he does. Wait, for, wait, just wait for that that moment. Like, like somehow in the match, what will happen is Doug will end up in the end zone for some reason, and then like a hail mary pass will just like come in, fly, and Doug will just catch it, and you'll just be like, what the fuck just happened? Big yeah. Doug. I mean, the only thing I can trust Doug to do is kill Ifa. That's true. He, Easy. He has, Easy. he has proven himself capable of killing big guys. That's he true. He has killed 100% of big guys he has faced. Let's be fair, the apothecary, yeah, the apothecary killed him. No, Doug killed him. No, the it's in the didn't. stats. <laughs> Jesus. It's true. It is in the stats that uh, Big Doug killed him. Big Doug uh, killed him. Oh, you can say what you want. What kind Josh, of Ron, what are your? Yeah, I was thinking a scoreline for this. I think you. I think you'll win, Pete. I think it's going to be I a close take game. It, I, I think I can take it two one. It's going to be a draw. It's going to be a one one draw. I have no idea. This is so close. Like, if this is a one one draw, you realize it keeps the bottom three that tense. Yeah, I don't. That yeah. tense. This is a very close match. <laughs> I would like to beat you. Well, to be fair, the draw, a, draw, a draw is better for Pete than it is for Greg because mm. a draw for Pete puts him at thirteen points, which makes it him like that locks you into top four. Yes. Where, whereas, uh, so basically, like Pete, you just need to draw or win. If you draw or win against Greg, you you're locked into top four. You can't not make top four. Well, that's if you go to thirteen. I'd go to eleven. Uh, Madden can go up to 15. If I then win the next game, he could lose. So you're basically, you're saying you don't have faith on whoever on Rodif to beat Madden, is what you're saying? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying <laughs> possibility. I would like Rodif to beat Madden because I'm precariously close to going out. Precariously close. I like how uh, all the matches up to this point in the wrap up have been, yeah, it's fine, we'll just win or we'll lose. And then it's got to the last two weeks and we're all just working out what we need for playoffs now. Oh, yeah, that's how it works, man. That's how it works. Uh, I think, uh, no, Josh is actually see. only one point above, like, safety. <laughs> See, yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm not actually because because of, of my because of my inability to roll dice or play against Roneth, My position is not is just not that secure. <laughs> I think that um, Entirely this, is, this is going to be a very very close match. But I think Jesus, like all of it, your your players, um, Pete, all like pretty much everything uh, goes on the thrower, the goblin, and your blitzers. The rest just don't. Like the they, just, they just bash people, but like they, they have nothing else. Like the they... Black Hawks have just seemed to be part of the cage right now, and yeah. that's like all they're, they're, just, to do. But they're just bodies. Yeah. What I'm wow. hoping happens is you try to throw the goblin, uh, the troll eats him, Doug punches and kills Ifart after catching the ball which the goblin dropped, <laughs> and then uh, drives forward and scores a touchdown. That would be just the best thing. Can I? Can I? Can I? Like, make a slight amendment to that. Sure. I want all of that to happen, but then you to get one square away from the touchdown zone, and then for Doug to just constantly bonehead till the match ends. Well, that will happen. Yeah. <laughs> that would be funnier because like all that happens, Doug's got the ball, he's running for the end zone, and then just can't wait, walk over the wait, line. What will, what will happen is if the same thing that happened. And he boneheads. Does he, he drop the ball? They, no, no, they just hold on to it. Just hold on to it. That's amazing. That's what I mean, like, um, just, just Doug just boneheading <laughs> on the line, holding the ball, <laughs> just like... What will happen will be the same thing that happened in the last time we came against uh, Greg. I'll knock his crocs on its ass, knock it out on the first turn, and then he'll be out for the entire No, 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 match. you didn't do that, he did that. 
<laughs> oh no, wait! But it counts as my KO. Greg. It's true. It's his stats. You can't make that up. <laughs> you can't. You can't have the argument go your way both ways. You got to pick one or the other. So either Doug didn't kill the Minotaur, or Doug Pete knocked out. The then Pete knocked out your Croxigar. Nope. Yeah. Doug knocked himself out. No, no, you Doug can't. Doug no, Doug you can't. Use is knock out big guys, the including one. himself. No, all for... he wants is for Doug to have all the glory and mishaps. He just wants everything for Doug. You can't use the same argument I both ways. Yes, I can. You can't. I'll be, I'll be honest. Look, watch me. If I can get I'm doing in this game with Earthworm Jin, that'd be nice. That's what I want to do. You Earthworm Jin's gonna get eaten. If I if I can get three touchdowns on Earthworm Jin, it means I can get him to get a level up and get short feet. I thought we'll eat him. I'm not gonna play the throw game well, every. It's gonna be very. Well, it's you gonna should. Be very even. That's what I can say. This is where I fire my two linemen and then take my uh, value down, and it screws over your purchases, and I win. I don't care. I'm like, yeah, you... I'm looking what my realistic levels are for this week, and it's like. I would be far happier with you not having those two extra players than me having the fucking petty cash. So please do do that. Go ahead. I don't. I don't think it's realistic that my ward answers will level up. No. Well, not unless you go bash again. Uh, you, you've got a lineman that might do. Yeah. Provided um, Pete attempts a pass over my team, Chinless Chuck will level up upon him. I have, Shit stream. Never, I have never decided to ever do a long ball pass. He, well, you don't need to. It just needs to be a pass anywhere near Chinless Chuck. And it's his. And Although, it's his. to be fair, it's not like I don't have the fucking abilities to actually attempt that, though. Yeah, there you go. You should do it over Jim's job. You, you should do it because I like I tried a two plus into a, th a two plus pass into uh -huh. a three plus catch I and that failed. I can't because uh, I can't throw the I can't throw twice in a turn, so I can't throw the goblin and throw the ball to the goblin. Uh, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Then, unless anyone's got anything, any final words to say? No. No. Uh, yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, I do. I do. Fuck Great, you're going down, motherfucker. Fucking cut you. <laughs> I can't wait for that match tomorrow. It's going to be yeah, good. It's going to be good. All right, so I guess that's bye from us then. I hope you enjoyed the matches this week and last week. And it's getting tense. We're getting close to the end. Playoffs are definitely going to be interesting because... Play playoffs will be a whole different beast because it will be playing in the... It playing two games back to back like anything could really change. Yeah. The Crazy shit could happen in that. Tilting will be far more relevant. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so we will catch you next week for the next wrap-up, and enjoy the games. Peace Bye. out. Bye. Bye. Bye.